Oh, what's wrong with my water? So one day I was taking a shower and suddenly noticed that my water pressure was really bad. Oh man, what am I gonna do? This is gonna cost a fortune. This could be a nightmare, but wait, you could possibly do this yourself. So watch as I go through the adventure of replacing my own water pressure tank. It takes a little bit of work, some mistakes, multiple trips to the store, but we did it. Hey, I'm Nick with Nick's Nonsense. Thank you for watching. We are going to have some fun today. Do all kinds of crazy things. Sometimes cool, sometimes yucky. Yeah, watch and enjoy. All right, there's always something to do. Never ends. So today what we're going to do is this water pressure tank is no good. So we need to replace it. At least attempt to. So here, let's see what we can do. All right, after looking at multiple prices online at multiple places, I, for better or worse, went with the cheapest item at the cheapest location. Uh, we got this at Menards. It is a 52 gallon tank. This is going to be bigger than our last tank. So it should work better than our other one did from day one. We do use a lot of water, so I figured bigger tank. Here we are. We got our new pressure tank. Gonna unbox it and put it in, we hope. It's blue. It's blue. Should be installed in the kitchen. What? No, I don't think so. Now we gotta get down the stairs somehow. That'll be a lot of fun. Okay, made it to the basement. Okay, we're gonna rip the box down the side here. So hopefully we don't need to return it. There we go. Let's get ready. All right, we need to show you in this dirty sink here what's happening with our water. So there, with that running. With that running, watch how quickly this thing cycles. All right, so we're down to 30, 28, 27, yeah, maybe 24. Okay, so we'll loop up to 55. Look how fast it's dropping here. 40, 35, 30, 25. There we are. So, that's way too short. Okay, here we are down in the dirty basement. We're gonna try and swap this, so shut put the water off to the house so that nobody can use any water. Let's hope we get this finished today, otherwise we're gonna have a problem. We'll be complaining. Thirsty. We'll be like, I'm thirsty. I gotta go to the bathroom. I gotta take a shower. Gotta spray water all over the driveway. Yeah. Okay, that's shut off. Now, we're going to have to drain the water, which means that where I'm kneeling is going to get wet. That's going to be awesome. But, let's go ahead and do that. Alright. Open up the faucet here. Yum, yum. This is how you clean your floor in the basement. Drain and tank. Ignore that pink stuff there. That's just cosmetics. Oh, I know what we forgot to do. We forgot to shut off the well. <laughs> we better go do that. Okay, let's try this again now. That thing better not refill this time. You need that? That's the pressure we need when we're done. 
Okay, gurgle gurgle, it's all done draining. I've got a monkey wrench, a pipe wrench, and if I can't do it with that, I got a even bigger pipe wrench. So we're gonna try and undo this nut here and see what happens. some thread on our pipe here. We're going to screw it into the new tank. First we got to line up the pipe with the hole. All right, we already found some. <laughs> it's in a toolbox. Trying to find that pipe. Where is it? How come I can't hit it with my fingers? That's not good. Because oh. if it's recessed that far, this pipe might not be long enough. forever it wasn't in the regular plumbing aisle that's like $14 but this is their biggest snapple three inches that's probably not big enough so now we gotta go somewhere else so on to the next place Get these two ones. No, get around there. Oh, you got it. Thanks. Like, it's not good. Okay, here we are, like two hours later. We got our extension. Had to go to Home Depot, then Ace Hardware. 
Uh, we're looking for brass fitting, and then finally, even Ace Hardware didn't have the six inch we wanted, and then the guy's like, well, galvanized should work, so if you guys are gonna yell at me for using galvanized, yell at the guy at Ace Hardware, yeah. That's oh, what we're guy. using. All right, so, two hours. I mean, everyone's got a pee now, including me, but let's try and get this done. All right, got thread on those. Gonna take this adapter, extension, whatever you want to call it. Doesn't fit. <sighs> it fits. Get that on there. <clears throat> then put in our ugly one. Got thread on there. Doesn't fit. That <laughs> thread it all the way in. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Gotta find out if this thread's in this thing better. If we have to go back for an adapter to make it bigger. Okay, here we are again, heading back to town. We got our extension, six inch extension with an adapter to made it to the run to make it longer. But the water pressure tank is inch and a quarter. So 30 minute drive back into town to get a inch to an inch and a quarter adapter. And then hopefully we'll be able to get some water so people can go pee. No buckle. All right. All right, here we are on our way home from Home Depot. Second time to town today for a little bitty adapter. It's like 42 minutes later. We're not even home yet. So hopefully this is the last item we need to buy. We're going to try and get this pressure tank done today because everybody at home has got to pee. All right, here we are finally back again. Everyone's like dancing because they got a piece so much. This time we had to get this thing go from inch to an inch and a quarter. Yeah, that's how prepared we are. So this better fit. We're gonna put some thread on this. We're gonna put it in there and we're gonna be done with this. If this doesn't work, yeah, we're just going to Dollar General buying a bunch of buckets of water and that's what we'll do all winter. Okay, now we're gonna see if this threads in any better. So far so good. Hope that fits on the old stuff. Need to get that to there. You like that sound, don't you? Okay, so clearly we're a different height here, but there is some wiggle room here. I think 
we're gonna be lucky. We were worried about that. We were worried it wasn't gonna reach. And let's hope once we turn the water on, it doesn't just all spray out at this union here. So, when we were at Home Depot, I took a look at the <clears throat> pipe wrenches. This thing's like $160 or something. Yeah. Yep, yep. All right, we're almost done here finally. So one of the last things we need to do is set the pressure inside the pressure tank. This thing needs to be about two PSI below where the uh, pressure switch decides to cut on and turn the well pump back on. So when we're doing it earlier, it was around 25 that it's starting yep. to cut in. So what we do is top the tank here there's a little valve, just like a tire stem, and you just want to put any kind of a pressure gauge on there. Um, we've got this fancy battery-powered air inflator. This thing's really nice. It's really cool. And what we're going to do is we're just going to connect it here. Move all our air. There, we just dropped like 6 PSI. Alright, now that we got this fancy thing connected, I'm just going to turn it on here. Hold the button down, boom, ooh, not long enough. Hold it down, boom, 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 on. Okay, I've got it set to 23 PSI, currently reading 38 and a half, way too much. So let's bleed some air out of here, and then we'll recheck it. There we are. Oh, it went up a little. 23 and a half. <laughs> Let's just take out a little more. All right, everyone, we're almost done. Shutting the faucet here. Then we're going to turn the breaker on and start filling up some water into the tank and then we'll turn it on to the house. Hopefully it doesn't start spraying so I'm going to go turn that breaker on. You guys are going to watch these things and if they start spraying everywhere you tell me. Hopefully I turned the faucet off, not like I opened just now. Because <laughs> <laughs> it might have been off. Because <laughs> I only turned it up, turned it in half. <laughs> oh. No spray! I hear tinkle tinkle going on. <laughs> Okay, pressure's holding. I don't hear any water. Okay, so next is we're gonna open a faucet at the far end of the house, and then we'll turn our valve on here and send water into the house. So here, while we're waiting on the faucet to get turned on upstairs, right there you can see a line. There, that's air. So that's all bladder up there, air bladder, and then boom, right here, that's our cold water that came in. We had none of that on the old one. I think it was full of water all the way up. Pass it open upstairs. Let's open this up. There we go. Bubble, bubble. Oh, 
Keeping it wide open. Okay, now let's go try that basement faucet and see how quickly this thing drains. Wide open. All right, let's go wash it. All right, so we've just walked all the way back from that faucet to here, and it's still dropping. It hasn't kicked in yet, and some of those upstairs faucets are probably still open too. Look how long it's taken. Remember before it was going 50, 45, 40, 35, 30, 25, and then it kicked on, and yeah, that ain't happening anymore. There it is. Now it's going up. So that's five minutes and 20 seconds after I got in this room. Wow. There it is. Went from 5.20 to 6.30. Minute 10 seconds to fill up. That's what you want. Okay, I think we got it fixed here. Uh, it took 5 minutes and 20 seconds to drain down with that sink running this time. More than that because I walked across the basement. Um, and then took a minute and 10 seconds to fill back up. That's much better than about the 30 seconds to drain and 10 seconds to fill up. So hopefully we'll see some improvement on our power bill with the pump not running all the time. Hopefully we don't burn out our pump now. And now we're not drinking bladder water. It's good. 